Hey everybody, it's Rob and we're back and we're gonna do a flat top today. And you might be going like, a flat top, another flat top? I thought there were already a lot of flat top videos by Scorum on the mighty internet. I know, but I saw at and I thought, damn, that is one good looking bastard. Let's make a video. Actually, I wanted to use him for a photo shoot, but he's here anyway, Yell is here. So we make a video, yeah? I'm gonna try not to talk as much as I normally do, but it's probably not gonna work. So here we go. Um, when you wanna do a flat top, you gotta to start with drawing the hair in the right position. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use some of the Russo Grooming Tonic. Not too much. Too much product will make the hair greasy. I don't know, Ed, I never cut them before. So I don't know exactly what his hair is going to do. So just a little bit. Yeah. And you might want to add just a little bit because I want the hair to be dry, not, not, not greasy. Yeah. So product, product, product. And I'm gonna dry the hair. Now normally I use a vent brush because I like to work with the natural fall of the hair. In the case of a flat top, I wanna to use your basic men's Denman brush. Yeah, because I want the hair to be in the right position. So. Now, this is kind of personal. I like to use a nozzle on the blow dryer. But again, that's all up to you guys, yeah? So here we go. I'm gonna start by drying the hair uh, pretty much all in the same direction. This is really important. Um, I'm gonna dry it again after I set in the base of the flat top. Yeah, but now I really wanna make sure the hair is all going in the same direction. So when he styles the hair at home, it's gonna be a good looking flat top too. I bitched about this before, so I'm gonna bitch about it again. But um, we get a lot of, oh, you always got perfect models with perfect hair. Yeah, you know, videos kind of work good when you're working with good hair. But at me here, we're joking about losing our hair because of all the worries that we got. You know, ex-wives, alimony. Yeah, I mean. But I think that when your hair is slightly thinning, uh, short hair is usually the best solution, yeah? I mean, either you shave it off. Now, this is slightly thinning. There's still a lot of hair. If you go super short, with a flat top, this can still look really cool and aggressive. So, we're gonna go for a pretty short flat top, yeah? I'm gonna go super short on that crown area, yeah? So you probably, when I'm done, I actually think the hair is gonna look pretty full, and I think it's really cool, yeah? Um, so I dried it, there is a little bit of wave in the front, which usually makes the flat top a little bit harder because the hair kind of wants to subtract in your comb. I don't know if that's the right English word, but I think you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to start by setting in the base, yeah, which is going to be the top and we're going to go for flat. So lifting it up. But again, I never cut adds hair before, so I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go short, but I'm not gonna go mega short right away because I kinda wanna find out what his hair is gonna do, right? So up, up. If you like to use the um, Big flat top comb, be my guest. As I say in all the videos, this is not the best way or the fastest way or whatever, it's my way. And it works for me, yeah? But I learned to cut my flat tops 
about 30 years ago and I'm starting to become an, to become an old timer who finds it hard to change his old ways. So this is how I've been doing it for all those, all those years. And it, again, it works for me, but if you got another technique, it's all just fine, yeah? So that is your basic shape on top. So now I'm gonna move to my angles. Yeah, I like to do this either freehand or with the comb. If you wanna do it with the comb, you always wanna keep it square, but I'm gonna go pretty short, so I want the angles to go in a little bit, yeah? So what I can do is I can pull these down, set in the base, yeah? And what I like to do is, I wanna go kind of freehand, and refine that, those, those square angles, yeah? Using my comb, and then look for that same angle. Yeah, and again, it's just a sketch. Don't worry too much about those few hairs that are sticking out. Just make very sure that your model is up straight. Yeah, so on one side I pull it down. I can do that again, or I can just go like, you know what, I'm gonna set in that angle freehand. Right now, I just wanna lose as much hair as quickly as possible, okay? So, I need a base to work with because after that, I'm gonna dry the hair again and then I'm gonna start the actual flat top. First, I wanna lose a lot of hair to make it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, now I like to make these videos for people that are starting their career in barbering. I just want to give you some tips that you can try, yeah? It's not like, okay, do it like this, then like that. No, it's just little tricks. Now, one of those tricks is this might look freehand, but it's not completely freehand. I'm, I might not be using a guard on my clipper, but my guard is my hand, yeah? I always find a point, see, I turn on my clippers on zero. I put my hand, see, and I kind of slide my hand over the skull, yeah, to set in that square angle. So it's really important that you look at the angle of your clipper, but you set your hand and you kind of pull your hand over. See, so it is a fluent line that you're setting in. So it's really super easy to work that way. Okay, so a lot of hair is lost. What we're gonna do before I dry it again is lose even more hair. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna blend in the beard yet, so be careful there. Set it open to half. Yeah, and almost as I set in that angle, see that is also the angle that I'm holding my clippers. So this part here is following the shape of the skull. Yeah, and then when you look at the angle, see there's still a little thickness here. Yeah. But it's really easy because there is enough hair left to make even more square with your comb. Yeah, so back to half, take that all off, off. Now, and this is a very important little trick that I love. When you do a flat top, the squareness of that flat top is pretty much where the ear is attached to the head. 
Yeah? If, the, if, if it's square on this part, it's going to be visually square. Yeah? And, that, and that is the most important part, which means that everything that happens behind that point doesn't really matter. So, it's square on this area here. That means that I can take my clipper and take off a lot of hair behind that point, yeah? And I'm kind of using that point as a certain guideline to aim my clipper at, yeah? And now make sure that when you're using your clipper this way, yeah? And especially for those of you punk rock kids that used to ride their skateboards, yeah? If you're using transition while skateboarding, yeah? You know that it's the shape of the, of the jump ramp or, or the mini ramp that's gonna kind of catapult you out, right? That is the same way you do. The, the moment you try to ollie over a jump ramp and you're too tensed up, you're gonna fly over because nothing's gonna work. You gotta feel that flow. Well, that is exactly what the shape of the skull does, yeah? So it's kind of got to catapult you out. But that's only going to work if you relax your hand and wrist. Yeah, the moment you're going to be too tied up, you're going to follow the shape scope. Yeah, so make sure yeah, you see the angle of the skull and you follow that. So what it comes down to is, the more relaxed you are in your haircut, the better and the easier it's gonna work. And remember, this is just removing hair and for me to get to know my client's hair, yeah? If Ed likes his haircut and decides to come back to our shop and he's gonna end up in my chair again, I can kind of speed up the process because I cut him before, so I'm pretty much gonna know how to do his haircut, yeah? But now I still kind of gotta find out a little bit. So, all of a sudden, we lost a lot of hair, yeah? It's far from a perfect flat top. I can tell that one side is shorter too. But that doesn't really matter because now I'm going to dry it again. Now the hair is so short that it's going to be way, way easier to dry it in the right position. Make sure you set your blow dryer to minimum heat or medium heat because you're going to be drying very close to the skin. Yeah, so now we got the shape. Yeah, and all of a sudden I can see way better how much shorter I want to go. So now we're going to refine the shape. Following the same line. Really, Ella? So just keep going over the top till no hairs are coming off anymore, okay? Now when you're going super short on your flat top, you're using that crown as the highest point. So you can literally put your comb on top, which makes it super easy to go square. Going back to half, fade the whole thing out even more.
back to zero. See, what I really like about flat tops is what you see is what you get. So there's a lot of free hands. And the most important tool that you're using throughout your flat top are your eyes. Now you got to check for balance. You really got to look like, are there any hair sticking out? Now, all the while, while I'm doing freehand work, there is always a finger or my hand that is supporting the clipper, yeah? So, see, these are my guards. I put them on, I kind of pull the clipper using my fingers to support the shape of the clipper. gonna uh, turn the model to the mirror because as much as I love to cut with the client facing the rest of the clients plus the clients waiting so you know there's more interaction it's a barbershop after all with a flat top you definitely need to check your shape in the mirror Now, I was just talking with Ed here that I really, really like the wild beard, the bushy beard. That is, that is pretty much, I saw Ed in the shop here uh, getting a haircut from one of my colleagues. And um, I really love those bald sides, you know, shaving sides and then with a really, really strong beard. So we're gonna shoot some uh, photos afterwards, but I'm gonna, I, I think it's gonna look really, really cool. So taking out the, um, the foiler. To make that contrast with his beard even bigger.
take a zero gapped outliner. Yeah, just to make that little transition from the foiler to the slightly longer hair on top. Now again, everybody has their own technique, so please do it, do it the way you're most comfortable with. Yeah, some might go like, oh, I like this clippers better, or blah, blah, blah. It's all good, man. Whatever you like to do. Um, I'm gonna slightly, see I always leave this patch here because I want to do a little bit of blend on the beard, but not too much because I really like the fact that the beard is bushy and I wanna keep that contrast a little bit. So I'm not gonna fade the whole thing in, just like. See, I really like doing flat tops, even when they're this short, quite easy. Yeah, there's always, because they're so, what's the word? Visual, right? Yeah, that's the word, right? Visual. It's so different than longer hair, taking sections, because then you have to keep in your head like, oh, this angle is going to make sure that the hair on top is going to be this long. I want to transfer into the nape area. I'm going to leave it this long. But this is like, you know, almost coloring with a, with a Sharpie. It's like, boom, right? What you see is what you get. You really carve. Okay, so bring out the old blending scissors or normal scissors, whatever you like most. Yeah, and we're just gonna double check. See the hard thing when there's a little wave, you see that little wave here? Yeah, when we're gonna put the hair up, it's gonna be more straight up. So just go over it for that last time. Taking that wave up, taking that wave with you in the flat top. Yeah, so we, I'm just gonna use a little bit of product to get this, those last hairs up, and then we're gonna do the final check of the flat top. Well divided over the hill. Yeah, and we're just gonna like scrunch it in a little bit. Use your pick to divide the product over the hair. See the moment all those hairs are up, you can use both clipper, scissors, blending scissors. 
to do your final check. Because you've scrunched the hair, you make those little nuts. No, no not nuts. Not. Not. <laughs> I'm not making little nuts. <laughs> you little squirrel. Fuck. Be because of those knots, <laughs> yeah, you, you really kind of spread the hair out so it makes it look thicker. Yeah? And you can see all those last detailed hairs. Coming out. I can imagine that some of you are like, cut the beard, cut the beard. I'm not gonna cut the beard, yeah? Because at it like, no man, I really like it like this. And honestly, I love it because you know, this is like super tight and then the beard, for me that makes it even more rock and roll, man. I, I, I'm, I'm really into it. But again, can't say enough. If you wanna cut the beard or you're like, I don't like the beard, hey, do it in your own barbershop, man. Um, do whatever you want. But make sure that you and your client are both happy with the final result. I'm gonna use a little bit of our astringent foam. Now I have been practicing on that word for a very, very long time. Astringent foam. Astringent foam, mousse. Astringent, astringent, astringent. Well, it's really, see, comes out like a foam. It's really, really nice after you shave with either a straight razor or a foiler. It's gonna calm down, calm down the skin. Yeah, it has a. What's the word? Hydrating, vocht inbrengend, moisturizing. Moisturizing effect. Yeah. So it's gonna calm down the skin. Um, we're gonna take some uh, nice photos of Ed here. That you can find on our Instagram pages. Now, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. You can do that. Well, come on, you know how it works. And um, maybe we'll be back with another haircut real soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. This was Rob from Scorum in Rotterdam. See you later. Who's Lockhead? Bye. <laughs>